Hey guys, how you doing today? We have an awesome day for you. We got the C8 Corvette in all its beautiful glory. Let's, uh, oh yeah, that thing is beautiful, guys. Look at that. Man, that hardtop convertible, you just can't beat it. It looks amazing. With that being said, we are gonna be going and doing the ground effects today. This is something that we've been looking forward to for a long time, guys. This is gonna be awesome. This is gonna be dope. This is gonna be a two-part video, okay? So we're gonna do half of it now, and then I'm gonna post the other half in the next video. So. We're gonna get right into it, have a great time, get the jack, lift this thing up, and see what this is about, guys. We're gonna have fun with it. It's a beautiful day. Take a look at this day today, guys. This is amazing. Look at that. Man, is it beautiful today. It is clear. It's a wonderful day to be thankful for what we have. Just work hard and chase your dreams, and you will achieve them. We are gonna get right into this, guys. This is gonna be awesome. Let's do this. Here are the ground effects. Man, these guys look beautiful, don't they? It's so cool that these actually have Allen wrench tips on them because if you wanted to, you could probably take this in and get this cut a different like style or like angle like that if you want, instead of this Ford front if you're not into that. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of this, but it's not too bad looking. We'll see how it looks on the car. But you could probably take these off, take them in and get them professionally cut and have a nice finish put on them like this. The sky is the limit with this option and uh, this is gonna look amazing. Okay guys, so Paragon gives you two of these pucks when you buy it from them. Nice little logo on it. So that's where you probably put the screw. Each one comes with four parts, including the puck. You get a little spacer, you get the wing nut and you get the little bolt. What we're doing here is get the bolt, shove it in there, boom. It's a flush inset. You got your little spacer, you throw it on there. You get your wing nut, throw it on there and boom, there you go. It's on there. This goes underneath the C8, it locks into place and it holds it in. And uh, just a really nice thing to place your lifters and pull up your C8 safely. Okay guys, so we're gonna be doing the front and probably probably the rear end skirt here. This is gonna be awesome. Heck yeah, I can't wait to slap these on here. That's gonna be dope, that's gonna look beautiful. Okay, first things first guys, we have a little hockey puck here. So it goes in like that and then you turn it so it doesn't fall out. And now you have the thing to lift it up, okay? So I just got the saw out, cut some big pieces of wood, and just made some uh, tire lifts. So I'll show you the back. And here we go. That'll be perfect. When we set the car on that, it isn't going anywhere. I'm actually gonna screw these on there as well. That is as wide as the tire is. And so that worked out great. Okay guys, one down. And there we go guys, that is not going anywhere. Let's take a look at that. Okay, so we are good there and we are good there. And we got lots of room to work with here. This is perfect guys. Okay guys, so this is exciting. We're gonna be getting a T15 star bit to get this plastic piece of crap off the car. Then if you have one of these slidey carts. Okay guys, so take a look at this. Look at the old and look at the new. Here's the new with the wings, the front splitter, and here's the old one. Look how small that is compared to but height-wise, look how much taller that one is compared to this one. It's night and day. It's so thick and beefy. Sorry for some of the dust and stuff on this. And this little one's just like me. This thing is way bigger, way taller, everything more. That's gonna look epic, guys. Okay, guys, so you get your 316th drill bit, like Paragon says, and you start drilling these little dimples all over the place. There's two here and then two here that you don't drill out because it just doesn't line up through the bottom. But other than that, they all come out. It's 
It's actually kind of nice because when you start drilling it, it kind of centers itself in the dimple. And so it's these two right here. So it'll be the center one here, but not these two on the side. Not this one or this one, but these ones. Okay guys, don't forget to miss these in the back like that. I'm gonna loosely, it says to loosely fit some of the bolts over them. Okay guys, upon further investigation, I did some measuring. These are the two that they want you to drill out right here and right here. But there's also another dimple here and another dimple here. Now they say not to screw those out. Um, this one here, you could screw out and probably go all the way through. But this one has a piece of something blocking it. But here's the thing, those hex heads that are in the C8 already, that are in the C8, are preventing this from being pushed up all the way in. And uh, they are touching. And so is this one here, it's touching. So since this one here, you can't get anything through, and it's got a piece of something here, um, I'm thinking I'm probably gonna pre-drill a hole there so that I can screw this back in and actually have this sink inside of here so I can allow these to go all the way through. This one goes all the way through, but this one doesn't. And same thing with this one on this side. This one goes all the way through, but this one doesn't. It's not long enough even with the ones that they provided. I actually feel better doing it that way because having just two screws here and having two screws here and nothing in this entire center, nothing. Having something to secure this actually makes me feel a little better as well. Okay guys, so yeah, these are definitely the problem right here. Where this is right here, this guy, that's the problem. So I'm gonna make those even bigger because they fit perfectly, but it just doesn't line up perfectly. So I'm gonna make that quite a bit bigger. We got <laughs> the big daddy on there, quite a bit bigger. There we go. I think that gives enough room for that bolt to kind of set in there and not stop this. And that ABS almost looks half an inch thick. It is really thick, that hole there. So. The screws that they give you do not compensate for that. You see my finger sticking through there? That is thick, almost half inch thick. That is really thick. Definitely way more than a quarter of an inch. Not even a quarter of an inch you're gaining on these. And uh, it's just not enough. I would say these need to be in probably 3 16 longer, maybe even a little more than that. Definitely have to drill this one out too because this screw here is not reaching. Okay guys, so that was a pain in the ass, <laughs> but we got it fixed. So that remedy that I did, especially with the bigger drill bit, actually worked. I don't know if it was just my Corvette that has the issue. I don't know if it was the mold of the ABS of the splitter in the back there where that um, spacing was, is actually just thicker. I was hoping that I wouldn't run into an issue like this with this kit, but I mean, for Pete's sake, it's a thousand dollar kit, you guys, for everything. You know, the fact that it had a little issue there, would it stop me from buying it? Hell no, dude. I would still buy this kit. I'm quite a bit behind now because of this, and uh, I have stuff to do tomorrow. So this may be it for this episode, and I may have to finish this tomorrow night. So guys, the kit from Paragon Performance looks sick so far. The front is beautiful, I love it. This thing turned out so much better than I was expecting. If you were to ask me, was it worth it, the headache that we had to deal with, I would say absolutely for the price. You just cannot beat this. The effect is way bigger in the front. I'll give you a quick look. 
I wanted to give you a look when it's all done. I didn't get as much done tonight as I thought I would. I have some stuff I gotta do to help a friend out tomorrow, so I cannot bail on them. I'll just give you a quick little sneak look. There you go. I'm not gonna give too much. I'm sure you can pause it and all that, but man, that thing looks sick so far. I just wanted to say, work hard for the things you love, for the people you love. Bust your butt to make things happen for you in your life. Like, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and I will see you guys very soon with this in the next one. See ya.